Welcome to the GFNY show. My name is Dalia Schurman. And my name is Luis Lemus. And this year's season has already started. We got two races this past weekend with GFNY Uruguay and GFNY Punta Cana. Two races, one day, just the best way to start the season. And also we have a hat trick of races in Quito. And also if you, if this is going to be your first time at New York City, we are going to give you, well, Luis is going to give you three tips to implement there. Yes, so don't forget to subscribe, give us like, share this video with your friends and let's go to the show. So this year's season has just started. Yes, we got two big races to kick off this year's season and we got GFNY Uruguay, but the race in Punta del Este and we also have Punta Cana in Dominican Republic. At the moment of filming this episode, we don't know the results yet, but we are pretty sure that everyone had a good time. And hopefully right now at your screen, we're watching and the pictures of the winners at both races. But either way, congratulations to everyone. This is so, so good to have this feeling of races back again this year. And this year we had so many races. And talking about so many races, we had two more races announced in Quito. And one of them, it's a new discipline. It's GFNY. Swimming? No. Cross country skiing? No. Surfing? It's GFNY mountain bike. Oh yeah. In Quito, yeah. We are super excited. GFNY Global Endurance Sports Series is expanding. And also in Quito, we have GFNY Marathon announced. So this is going to be the third race in Quito for this year. GFNY Cycling, we already launched early this year. Then GFNY Mountain Bike and then also GFNY Marathon. So Quito is going to be the first city to have the three disciplines we have right now at GFNY. Yeah, that's right. Quito is an amazing, amazing place to ride your bike and also now run. The marathon goes through Old Town and the new city, new town of Quito. Quito is really, really an amazing place. And the mountain bike goes through a national park. It's very unique. It's at high altitude. Well, all the races are yeah. going to be at altitude. It's so, so great that Quito and Ecuador is receiving GFNY so great. And it just, it was natural for GFNY to be more involved and also to have this new discipline, which is now the mountain bike. Definitely makes sense that we had such a great time when we went to GFNY Manta and now Quito, Quito, and Quito. <laughs> <laughs> in general, the cycling is growing so much in Ecuador and in Quito, so it's going to be amazing. And also, if you want to go not only to race, Quito makes it for a great place. It's a beautiful city, as you mentioned. And this city is so beautiful, it was declared a world heritage by UNESCO. Yeah, that's right. So if you want to keep up with all the news and all the new races, go to gfny.com and then at the bottom you will have all the calendar, all the new races. You can click on whatever race you want. You may find new races that you don't know because you have missed our shows. So you just click on the race and you register that. It's very simple for all the races, for mountain bike, for marathon, and then for all the road cycling events that we have. We have already more than 30 races, so... gfny.com, it's the place to go. Okay, so now to the part of the show where we get a question on the other day on YouTube of a friend that asked us, what do we recommend if this is your first time going to New York City? And we're talking about uh, not traveling leisure wise, we're talking about the, the GFNY World Championships at New York City. So here are the top three tips that we, as me doing it one time and Talia hasn't done it yet, but the top three things that we're doing for GFNY New York City if this is your first time. Number one, it's be on time. And by be on time, I mean two different time things in here. 
the number one, it's arrived in New York City in time. New York City is one of the biggest cities in the world. And if you haven't been there, it can be tricky to get yourself around town, go to your hotel, use the metro, use app to move taxis. It's not very hard, but the first time that you go there as any other different city, if you don't know the language, it might be harder. So be in New York City in time. Don't arrive Friday night and trying to squeeze everything, go to the expo, get a ride, get a massage, get your food, get your dinner, get your bike ready on Saturday, and then just rush to the race. This might be something for people that have done it in the past and already know what to do. But if this is your first time, we suggest you to arrive the earliest possible. If you can be there on Monday, that's great. If you can be there on Wednesday, you're still good. Thursday, it's already kind of getting late. So be there as soon as possible in New York City. And the second time you need to be on time, it's at the George Washington Bridge. So be there. Uh, I'm to blame to not follow my own advice to be there on time. <laughs> I regret it. So seriously, people, be there on time. There's a lot of riders. There's so, so, so many people. You just can't imagine if you haven't been there, you think like, okay, I have just 15 minutes, I'll be there. And you're just 5,000 riders behind and that's not the best way to start your race. So be there on time. You know what the time those corrals are open. The sooner, the better. Take a jacket to the bridge, a jacket that either you will race on and you will either pack it on your on your jersey and then carry it all the way to, to the end. Or you can also keep a jacket that you can put on the side just before racing and those jackets are gonna be picked up and given to charity. But be there on time at New York City and before the start of the race. The second one is stay tuned to all of our channels. And by that, I mean Facebook, Instagram, our website, also the newsletters. There's always super important information in the newsletters. Most of the times, everybody has questions that actually you can find everything in our website. And still, if you have questions on our website, as I told you, you can find everything at travel guide, race guide. You can also find the schedule of events to know at what time the race is starting, when the race starts, also when is going to be the expo and the different activities we have for New York because you know New York is the busiest expo, the busiest race, so we have a lot of activities going on during the week. So there you can find all the info. We have also the help center. If you have a question, you can look up there and you can find it. Also hotel information if you don't know yet where to stay. We recommend to look at there as soon as possible because the race is coming like really soon airport information how to move in new york so everything is on our website so please make no sure to check that out and also during race week we are going to have a morning show it's going to be in english and in spanish so if you have any last minute questions you can ask there live and we luis <laughs> is going to answer the best way possible so make sure to check everything up and now number three last but not least is going to be don't try anything new and this is, again, very wide open. Don't try anything new, travel-wise, nutrition, race strategy, packing your bike. This is a lot of things. So we'll start travel-wise. If you normally go and like to spend a good few days that we already said, don't try to change that. Hotels, the closer you can be to the race start and the expo, that's going to be the better. Race nutrition, don't try anything new before the race or during the race. You can try everything new after the race because that now it's over. Everything that you have trained and everything you have tried in the past, that's okay, but nothing new. Race strategy, try to be calm. Don't try any crazy new ideas that you might have. Know yourself, know how much you have trained. Know that you always do a little bit better on race day because of the adrenaline and use that, but nothing besides that. Don't, don't try to do something crazy new. Your bike, your bike also. Don't try to twitch your saddle height, your changing cleats or new pedals yes. or new tire pressure for race day. Just stick to whatever you have done, you have trained, you have raced before. This really, it's something that most people don't think and, and because it's race, it's it's the, the premier event, it's what you have trained for, it's what you have prepared for. You, you're trying to get all these 
marginal gains and and try to do some stuff new and different but trust me on this one don't do it on race day try it now right now at this moment this week this next week on training on on your prep races before but not at GFN Wide World Championships. That's the day that you're going to enjoy, and that's the extra number four. Enjoy yourself, enjoy the travel, enjoy the city, enjoy the race, gather with all those 5,000 people that are going to be at the bridge with the same goal, with the same jersey, with the same spirit, that everyone just wants to be there, having a good time, racing our bikes, I think it's going to be amazing. We just can't wait to be there at the start line. It's going to be an amazing weekend. It's just been building up so much. So enjoy the race, don't try anything new, be there on time and stay tuned to all the channels. We GFNY are here for you in so many different ways. Newsletter, website, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. Just reach at us on email as, as well. So just, just ask the questions and we will be here to help you have a great weekend. That's right, we have been waiting for New York City race so long. It's going to be truly, truly amazing. Can't wait and hope to see you there. And as always, we have a giveaway for you. We have an entry for GFNY Quito Cycling. Cycling on road bikes. Cycling on road bikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we have an entry for you. All you have to do is leave us a comment with your number one tip for someone who's racing for the first time. So what's your number one tip? Leave us a comment on our giveaway photo and we are going to announce the winner the next show. So that's it, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and we hope to see you in New York.